Hey, what's up, Video Fort Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today, I'm going to show you how to do these videos specifically for Instagram. So, exporting for Instagram and creating edits um, specifically made for this social media platform. Now, most of the time when you're creating video content, making videos for someone, making them for yourself, you're usually shooting them in 1920 by 1080 on a DSLR camera or any type of camera and that is your normal HD setting and most of the time you also export in that setting 1920 by 1080. Now there's a disadvantage to doing that if you're uploading to a platform like Instagram. You know it makes complete sense if you're doing it on YouTube because that's what YouTube is built on these HD videos 4k and so on but when you're on Instagram there is actually a better setting for your video so we're going to kind of break that down really quickly right now um, there's three main aspect ratios that are created for Instagram so you have your one by one or the square version so the Instagram square which is what we're really used to because when Instagram first started I believe this was the only way you could upload photos okay 1080 by 1080 and at a time when they allowed you to do video it was also this so if you uploaded a 1920 by 1080 video it just had your video in the middle and then they would put this letter box in for you not the one you see right here but it would be like a white um, letter box I think or it may have been black now you can create your own um, letterbox and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can also upload a 1920 by 1080, but you can see how you really don't take up much screen real estate, which is a disadvantage to you guys because when you know when we're scrolling on Instagram, you are more likely to be lost in the newsfeed if you're only taking up this much real estate. Okay. So you really want to stretch that out and go with a 1080, which would be the square. Now, if you want to take even more advantage, go with a 1080 by 1350 aspect ratio. This is the largest, um, the, the largest height, I should say, that you can upload onto Instagram, okay? 1350 pixels by 1080 or a four by five aspect ratio. I like to call this one the Instagram vertical rectangle okay now this is what I would whenever you're uploading a video to Instagram I would use this setting okay in your um, editor of choice so if you're using Premiere Pro like me just go to your sequence settings and then in your frame size you would go with the 1080 by 1350 so 1080 by 1350 and then you'll be good to go now, if you're creating Instagram stories, that would be a 1080 by 1920 or the opposite of HD, which is a 16 by 9 ratio. But for Instagram stories, we're going with a 9 by 16. Okay, guys? So also remember that an Instagram story is up to 15 seconds long and when you're uploading videos to Instagram so that would be one of these it's up to a minute okay so keep that in mind when creating content for Instagram now you have your now let's say that you have your um, finished video and I'll kinda give you an example here I made a video a few months ago with my buddy um, Shane who's this hardcore workout guy um, bodybuilder and what we ended up doing was creating a cool little uh, video on his life um, let me turn down the audio so I can just kind of show you it and so I have my whole sequence here in HD 1920 by 1080 right now the easy way to do to do this is you know most people would just export this and um, throw up, throw it up on Instagram which isn't really the best thing to do what I would do is if you don't want to do any more edits to it you're kind of over editing I would at least put it into a square format um, put your video in the middle and then add your own titles into this letter box okay so you can see I made this kind of custom 
uh, letterbox myself um, that looks like a you know film stock and little pictures of him inside of the film stock and then added the title and so forth so um, you know try to get creative on these since most people are just uploading their 1920 by 1080 sequences you can really spice in yours up by filling the whole frame okay like we did right here and here I'll just, just show you this really quick My name is Shane Morrison, also known as Shane Infamous on social media. Uh, I am into lifting heavy ass weight and I'm also an actor. Okay, so basically you guys got it. I filled up the whole frame in the beginning and then I kind of transitioned and shrunk the um, sequence right here that I nested as you can see. So all I did was I took my already edited 1920 by 1080 sequence put it into a square format nested that whole sequence and then added this um, letterbox so you can see without that it's just black blank space so I went into Photoshop made a nice little uh, film stock and added that to it which you know adds more than what the normal person um, uploads on Instagram so that's what you really want to try and do differentiate yourself from everybody else that's uploading videos on Instagram now let's check out our Instagram um, rectangle format which is a little bit harder to do because when you've already created your edit your finished edit in a 1920 by 1080 sequence it's a little bit harder to put it into the 4 by 5 aspect ratio because you know zooming in a lot um, into your video it you're gonna cut out a bunch of stuff right so add other you can add other add a different edit to your video okay now of course this is going to take a little bit more time because you're essentially creating another video right specifically for Instagram's format because a 4 by 5 aspect ratio can't really use that anywhere else other than um, Instagram um, not YouTube or any of those other popular uh, platforms you can post it on Facebook so that would be helpful but um, you are creating a separate uh, another edit right so let me just kind of show you this one really quick to hopefully um, spark some ideas into your mind of what you can do to create something different while using all the same clips and all that and here I'll show you this one on the already exported quick time that I created Okay, so you can see what I did here. I added layers of clips, okay? Um, and let me kind of just show you that in this timeline. So what we have here, the adjustment layer is just a um, coloring effect, and then I have this little graphic that says new video, link in bio. This is what I actually used for my story. So let me just delete that for now because we don't need that here. Um, so check it out you can see all these clips so I have um, these two layers so the clip on the top and then the bottom and then basically cutting it cutting this whole sequence to the music okay so right at the beat and so you can really get creative on this one your track your music tracks are really big part of the editing process when it comes to you know creating these little mini I guess uh, music montages of whatever you guys are end up end up doing and um, yeah and then you can get creative on however you want to stack your videos on top of one another and um, you know adding little clicks and pops to uh, the beats or yells in the song um, 
you know, and really play around with it. Uh, blurred black, blurred backgrounds, um, and then also a couple of shots of filling the whole screen, right? Um, and then popping in and out with the beat, as you can see I did here. So that's just a few little tips or um, hopefully some inspiration on what you guys can do with your videos to really get into this 4x5 format. And then let's take a look really quickly at a 9x16, which would be Instagram story, um, filling the whole frame of your iPhone or Android phone, whatever phone you do end up having and let me show you that so if you guys haven't noticed this yet both the 19 the um um, 9 by 16 and the 4 by 5 are actually the same cuts and uh, same exact video just in a different format so one helpful thing is if you create an Instagram I would I would create an Instagram story first and then duplicate the sequence okay so if you have your 19 by 16 Instagram story all you have to do is right click duplicate the sequence and then just um, you know rename it your four by five sequence and then you would go into your four by five sequence which is of course still um, nine by sixteen go into sequence sequence settings and you can go down to your Instagram format which is 1080 by 1350 and then press OK and then now all you have to do is do a couple of finesse edits so fixing the parts because um, stuff gets chopped off on the top right so you know drag a clip drag it down get it into frame and you know move stuff around until it looks good right and then that will make it easier on you because then you really have to do you really only have to do one edit which is your story edit drop it down into a four and then drop it down to a four by five sequence and you're good to go and so that'll save you some time of course but that's really a quick introduction of the three different main aspect ratios to Instagram and hopefully some ideas come from this video and help you in creating some cool different edits for the different formats right because you don't want to have a 1920 by 1080 video just enlarged in your 4x5 and then you know really enlarged by your 9x16 because if you try to upload a 1920 by 1080 into your Instagram stories it's gonna cut off a good portion of your video and it's and you only get to zoom in straight into the center of your frame and you can't really choose what part of the frame that you get to use in Instagram stories so it's better to take control of that inside of Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or whatever editor you are using and edit in that sequence so that you get full control of what you're doing and know exactly what clips are gonna show where what images you're gonna see and so on and so forth so guys Hope this is helpful. If it is, please leave us a like and let us know in the comments section if there's any type of visual effects, um, video tricks, or um, tips that you guys would like to know more about. And we'll try to get those to you as soon as possible. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this. I hope that this inspires you to make more epic Instagram videos so no longer um, editing and only just 1920 by 1080 but also in these other aspect ratios to really differentiate yourself from the crowd and that will be it for today this is video fort I'm magic bard and I'll see you guys on that next tutorial